So you've come up with a bunch of keywords that we want to build an insight around. You probably have your list of about 100 keywords of the niche that you're thinking of going into. Remember, you might have different niches in mind. Now, this is the point where we want to evaluate each of the niche ideas that you've come up with and see whether we have a chance of competing on the landscape. And to do this, we're simply going to have to look at what other websites are there in the space that we want to enter. So coming back to our example of vacuum cleaners. So we simply need to go to Google and we just take any of the keywords that we've put in our list. So one of the keywords that we put in our list was best vacuum cleaner for carpet and hardwood. So when you put that keyword on Google, then click search, then you'll have to manually look at the results that are popping up. We are looking at the results to see if there are any affiliate websites that are ranking for this specific keyword. So just from looking over here, I can see we have New York Times and this is the Wayakata section of New York Times. If you guys don't know, Wayakata is one of the largest affiliate websites uh, in the world. They were bought by New York Times for I think about $30 million a couple of years ago. So it's really a very huge website. So that is an indication that you can do well uh, targeting keywords that are based around vacuum cleaners. But since Wayakata is a very huge website, you really don't want to base your decision on that. You want to look at potentially small um, affiliate websites that are ranking. If you find some small affiliate websites that are not well known but are ranking for specific keywords, then that's our cue that we can also enter that space and make some money. So let's look at the second result. The second result is Amazon. So usually you don't want to compete with the big brands that are available online. So if you search for a specific keyword and the kind of results you are seeing are huge e-commerce websites. You know, I'm talking about Amazon, uh, eBay, uh, Walmart, uh, what else? Zappos, Best Buy, and all those other huge e-commerce websites. If you see uh, such websites are ranking for specific keyword, then that definitely means that Google is favoring them for that particular keyword and you will generally want to stay away from that. But if you happen to see that some affiliate websites are ranking for the particular keyword that you are researching, then that's a good sign. If you see affiliates in a space, that means you can also get there in that space as an affiliate. So let's look at the third result. Third result is NYMAG. NYMAG is not really an affiliate website, but it's also a huge publication. I know because I've been seeing them a couple of times. So yes, if you just go through the article, you can see, you'll know that uh, they usually link to Amazon and other affiliate pro programs. Uh, for instance, you can see this one, 247 at Amazon. So definitely they are also following their, their Amazon affiliate uh, model. And this just goes on to show that even the big players are in the affiliate space. So don't think of your affiliate website as something small that you're just making some small money over here. You can grow it to a very big publication. If sites like nymag.com are in the affiliate space, that's a good sign. It's a very robust space. So we won't make our decision based on nymag because it's a very huge uh, website. So we leave that. Let's go to the fourth result. Prudent reviews. So generally, one of the ways that you can find an you can know our website is an is an affiliate website. It's when they have keywords such as reviews or best on their domain name. If you remember in the section of choosing a domain name, we said we don't want our website to have something like best or reviews in the domain name. But some of these players still go ahead and do that. And that's an easy way of knowing that our website is simply an affiliate website. So like these guys, Prudent Reviews, I've never heard of them. But just from the name, just because they have reviews, I know they're an affiliate website. So I'll just open the, uh, the article that is ranking. And well, I can just see uh, they have some on the menu. They have top brands, kitchen and cooking, home maintenance, cleaning, essentials. So this is what we call a multi niche website. Basically, they're covering tons of topics uh on the website 
but for us we are specifically going for a single topic for a start and along the way if your website grows big and or if you have some money to invest you can diversify into uh, different topics but for now we're just focusing on a single topic but let's look at the uh, article that is ranking so this is the article that is ranking and they're saying the top four best vacuums for head flows and you can see over here the call to action button is saying view on amazon i can see uh, another button view on walmart so they're also probably a walmart affiliate and uh, some photos uh, these are ads that are blocked you can see again view on amazon so we definitely know that these guys are an affiliate uh, website and if you just browse their website and check the articles i guarantee you you are going to find links to amazon so this is an affiliate website so that's a good sign if you see an affiliate website that is ranking for a particular keyword that you're targeting that's a good sign so let's look at, at the next one you have bestbuy.com best buy is a very big uh, e-commerce website so we definitely don't want even to look at it uh, then you have goodhousekeeping.com that's also an affiliate website but it's a big publication so i'll skip it then you have this homeaffluence.com i've never heard of these guys and i'm betting they're an affiliate website so let's see let's see let's see let's see and if they are an affiliate website first of all the domain name is very uh, nice because we don't see any signs of affiliate in the domain name we're not seeing things like best home appliances.com or home appliances reviews.com we're not seeing things like that so this is what we call a brandable domain name you can check our video on domain names uh, that's linked in the description uh, if you want to know more about uh, choosing the right domain name so home affluence so but just by checking the article let's check the article i can see they've put some ads over here but we are looking to see whether they have any Amazon uh, affiliate links on the article. And here we go. You can see the cell cleaning swivel. If I click on this button, you can even see it's written buy on Amazon. If I click on it, it's going to redirect me to Amazon. So we definitely know that this is an Amazon affiliate website. And the more you do research, the more you come across uh, Amazon affiliate websites. Because Amazon affiliate is a very lucrative program and it's a huge, in fact, it's one of the world's biggest affiliate programs. So you're going to find tons of these uh, such sites. When you find such sites, just know that's a good sign. Don't be scared and say like, oh, someone has already covered that topic oh i'm new in the topic so i won't rank no 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 if you find affiliates in that space that means you can get a slice of that income that they are getting so be happy when you find such affiliate websites and in fact as you're doing your research if you come across affiliate websites you should be noting them down somewhere like on a notepad or on a or on an excel sheet because you can reverse engineer the websites and see what keywords they are targeting the kind of articles they are writing they can be a stepping stone for you to create even more helpful content and eventually you can outrank them either with marketing or with backlinks and things like that. So yeah, we definitely know how homeaffluence.com is an affiliate website. They have tons of ads over here and just from the menu over here, we can see they cover lots of things. They ca cover garage roofing. So this is what we also call a multi niche website and you can outrank them because if you only focus on vacuum cleaners then you're going to have more authority in that area of vacuum cleaners and definitely outrank them for that keyword so basically you want to look on the first page of google first 10 results and see if there are any affiliate uh, websites if they are affiliate websites that's a good sign if there are no affiliate websites then you can possibly go into that niche but you might have some problems ranking because uh, if other affiliate sites are not ranking then it definitely means that google is giving some other sites more preference for that keyword so just search a couple of keywords on google and check the top 10 results see whether there are any affiliate websites so let's say um, we have this keyword over here which keyword okay let, let's look at this one best budget vacuum cleaner just from the keyword you know that a person who types best budget vacuum cleaner is probably looking for a cheap vacuum cleaner so we've just typed it on google and then when you look at the results 
we're looking for affiliate websites. If we find a couple of affiliate websites in the top 10 results, then it means we can enter that space. It means that's a space that's a favorable to affiliate marketers. So the first result is Znet.com. I already know this website. It's a very huge website, but they're also in the affiliate space. It's usually a tech website, but nowadays all these websites are going multi-niche route. So yeah, definitely you can see it's usually a tech website, but they're not even covering vacuum cleaners. And now don't be scared. Just because it's a huge website doesn't mean you're not going to compete over here. Remember these guys are covering everything, but us, we are building a niche site. A niche site basically means we are focusing on a single product. So when you build your niche site around vacuum cleaners alone, you're going to have more authority in the area of vacuum cleaners and you're going to even outrank some of these huge websites that are ranking. So don't be scared when you see these huge websites over here. So there is Znet and you can see their buttons, their call to action buttons. View now at Amazon, view now at Amazon. So even these guys are Amazon affiliates. So let's look at the second one, the Spruce. The Spruce is also another huge affiliate website. I know it because during the course of my research, I've come across it multiple times. It's also a multi-niche website. And if you just go to down on the articles, if you click on any of the of the products they are reviewing, you can see it takes you straight to Amazon. So yeah, that's an Amazon affiliate website. Third one, New York Times. This is the Wakata. We've talked about it. Then you have Good Housekeeping. This is also a huge affiliate website. Uh, then you have rtings.com i've never heard of rtings.com and that means that if i build a site on vacuum cleaners i will probably rank on the first page because if these guys are ranking and they're not a huge authority website then there's a high possibility that you can also rank so i've just opened rtings.com i've never seen these guys and i can see it's a multi-niche website because i can see they're talking about vacuums pet hair cordless robot i don't know what then there are the vacuum cleaners you can see they have links to Amazon. If you click on that, it takes you to Amazon. Yeah, and basically that's that. So after you've done your keyword research, you want to analyze the competition. So first, you want to see whether there are tons of affiliate websites on the first page of Google for the specific product that you want to promote on your website. Now that we've found some affiliate websites on the search results, we want to look at how strong those websites are. And that's what we are going to do in the next video.